Oui. Eh ouais. Hey, dude. Anyone here? Anyone here yet? Hello, Langton. Uh, yeah, the uh, X5 prototype. I got that on here. Anyway, let's get in there. Get into the world of survival horror. My dark webcam. Okay, so I made... Okay, so it's it's time for me to address the allegations against me. Uh, people have been saying something about me, about what I've done, and I, I feel I need to address it. Yes, it is true. The black levels on the last stream of this were incorrect, I'm sorry. See, it looks like this last stream, but it probably should have looked like... No. Oh, is that a tutorial? Can I... Yeah, can I get out of that? Yeah, so... It looked like... This, but it should have looked like... Um, it should have looked like... Touch portal not updating, that's cool. <laughs> um, my opinions on the game are a little complicated because, like, what I feel like are its greatest weaknesses are also some of its biggest strengths. Like, it has limited saving. Could not connect to the net. Oh, God, is my internet down? Is my Wi Fi down? No, it's back. It's back. But yeah, so you got, like, limited saving. And, you know, that's kind of annoying, but it also leads to a lot of tension. Okay, touch portal's not working right now. I may have to do this the old-fashioned way, but I'd rather do it like this. Okay, so... <laughs> Hopefully, it will let me make my point. It looked like this, but it should have looked like this. Well, maybe a little darker. Okay, like like that. And I apologize. I apologize for that. Somehow I just didn't think to check. Now this might make the image look a little softer based on how this whole thing works. But yeah, it was a little too dark last time. I mean, you know, darkness is spooky, but there's going a little too far. Like, see, in this room, right? It would have looked like this before. And see, the guardrail of the bed just disappears into the blackness. Whereas here, it is, it is well visible. Anyway, before I get properly started, I kind of want to experiment with something for a second. Ah, uh, hello, Darkwing. Uh, Okay, so press the X button. Now, I want to experiment for a second before I get going. Oh, oh no, that's too close. Okay, yes, his head just came clean off with that one. But he did get me, so <laughs> I'm going to reset. <laughs> So, yeah, I heard a tip. I was doing a little bit of research on this game between last time and this time. And I heard a tip that if you let them get real close and then fire the shotgun, you, you get them, like, almost every time. Like, they fall just completely dead. Because there's a difference between completely dead and mostly dead. See, mostly dead means slightly alive. 
and we can't be having that. But if the head comes off, if the head explodes, then you're good. That is like, I, I'm pretty sure the zombie just stays permanently dead at that point. And I mean, yeah, they're dead to begin with, but you know what I mean? Like deader than dead. Checking memory card slash S. I also looked up... The main thing I was trying to look up was the differences between Jill and Chris. Can I offer a couple small tips? Yeah, sure, go ahead. But yeah, I was looking up the differences between Jill and Chris. Main thing I figured out... Now, some of this might be exclusive to the remake, I don't know. But Chris is faster, he has more health, but he has a smaller inventory and he can't uh, pick locks. So you have to rely on the keys if you're playing as Chris. And obviously, of course, he gets different dialogue and like different story beats. If you see a blood pool around the zombie, it's permanently dead. All right. That's a good tip. Now, I would like to try to kill this one permanently. Like, the guy right by the save point. This area... If you aim up, it's easier to blow heads off. Oh, crap! No. You know what? Ah, uh, no, I was aiming down. No, you know what? We're, we're safe scumming. We're safe scumming on that one. See, I was expecting- I couldn't see, and I thought the controls were inverted. My bad. Don't worry, it just means we get to see the orgasmic PlayStation logo just that many- that many more times. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every PS1 game Dustin has to do constant resetting for, I'd have two nickels. Yes, but see, this- this is on the Super PS1, as I have taken to calling it. So... Resetting is just as simple as, you know, pressing a button combination. Of course, I still have to load into the whole thing, so it's not exactly a painless process, but... Look, I have, like, eight bullets. I want them to count <laughs> as much as I am able. And I can only save one more time at the moment. Maybe I should uh, go over here. There we go. Oh, hey Jazio, thanks for the raid. Okay, there's another one. Uh, he's not coming over here. Come on. Come on. There we go. How's Resident Evil treating you? I mean, like I've told Langdon, kind of mixed opinions so far. There's a lot that I don't like, but I also admit that it kind of helps the, the tone of the game. I'll leave that guy alive. Like, he's easy enough to get past. Okay, so like, there's a broken shotgun here. But it's the kind of jank that makes me say, yeah. Yeah, like I said, it, it kind of works in its favor. Because like, even the tank controls sort of give Chris and Jill a weight that, you know, makes you feel like... See, it, it sort of takes away a confidence I would otherwise have playing this game. And that's both good and bad. 
Thought I heard a Steam DM notification. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. It, it shouldn't be because I have desktop audio muted. So it yeah, it's probably just y'all. <laughs> Something that sounds like it. So I'm gonna. Let's see. Oh, and I I heard Jill also has better weapon variety than Chris. Like Jill gets a wider variety of weapons. So yeah, I only have one ink ribbon, which is not good. <laughs> so I just hope I can last. I I probably could have made better use of my saves. I won't lie to you. Now, where was I going? Am I on floor one? Yeah. So, hmm, I'm not sure. I, I see a room that I have not been in. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, see that guy. See, the thing is, I, I think rule of thumb is if you can get past the dude reliably. Oh, there's another one. Oh. Yeah, it's very dense in here. Definitely wanna... Definitely wanna get rid of a couple of these guys. Alright, Jazio, I understand. Still, thanks anyway. You have used the lockpick. Okay, what's in here? Oh. Ooh, is that a shotgun thing? Like a clip? That's a clip? Yeah. Can always use more bullets. None of them looks useful. Well, dang. Nothing special. Alright. Anything over here? No. Oh, yep, there's a whole... There's a whole set of things over here. This... This is just a wall, right? Yeah, it kind of looks like a... It kind of looks like a secret compartment. But no, it's over here. Oh. A diary of some kind. Oh. <laughs> Get wasted. Get up, Rain Morans. What is this? You can't carry any more items right now. Is too full. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the Guard. Alias. Alias? And Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. No wonder. Those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th. I've been wearing this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't, eat, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. I went down to the me- Okay, May 13th. I went down to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. Oh, yep. I think I know why he doesn't need to wear the suit. <laughs> May 14th. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. 
I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. My first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on my way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. The entire, my entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy itchy Scott came. Ugly face so killed him. Tasty. 4. Itchy tasty. I feel like zombies are at their scariest when you focus on the infection aspect. Like, I always feel like zombies themselves are not a, t a lot of like a physical threat. But the whole like global pandemic of fatal disease, I mean granted, not that we can relate to any of that. But yeah, that's that's when it's scary. Like the feeling like you could just catch it and you're already dead. That that's a frightening prospect. I was watching uh, an anime about that fairly recently, but I can't actually say what anime it is because it's kind of a spoiler. Hmm, no. I'll put the clip in here. I mean, I could probably put the ink ribbon in here. What, what do you think? Do I put... Darkwing, since you've played this, you think it'd be safe to put the ink ribbon in here? Because most of the save rooms I have found so far also have the box in them. So... But I don't, I don't want to assume that I always just keep ink ribbons in the box. Okay. Well, that, that is useful knowledge to have. Because that, that will save me a lot. <laughs> That'll save me a lot of space. And by a lot, I mean one. It'll save me one space. But in a game like this, one space is everything. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. I need to go back to that room and get the box. Was it down this way? Yeah. It was- it was in here. It was in here. Like I said last time, if you've played Luigi's Mansion, you may recognize that the door animation is a parody of something. You are wise to pick Jill. Chris only has six slots instead of eight. I've heard- I've heard mixed things about which one is actually harder. Oh, shells for my shotgun. So that's good. So, I, I think the consensus seems to be that it's it's just a trade-off, you know? It's it's not an upgrade or a downgrade, it's kind of just a side grade. Like, J Jill's just better at different things than Chris is. Okay, what's in here? Oh, oh, this is, uh, the back of the main hall. Well, maybe not the main hall, but this is, like, back here. You know what? I get the, the feeling that Barry's gonna want to see me now. Maybe, maybe after the diary, Barry's gonna want to see me. Barry? Okay, no, no Barry. It, it was, it was worth a shot. But hey, we, it, it, 
<laughs> it serves to let you see the, these older areas with the correct black levels. Oh yeah, this is where... This is where John Zombleton was. He's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. I didn't know I could interact with him. I will say though, I do really like the... The, like, m structure of this game. I, I like exploring the mansion. That, that's something I really like about Luigi's Mansion. And I'm glad this game has that too. What is this? Some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Hmm. Gee, I wonder if that's some kind of... <laughs> that's some kind of hint to a puzzle. I wonder what it could be. I kind of want to pull out the shotgun just in case. The black door. Oh wait, yeah, this is the uh... This is the uh... The botany room, the garden or whatever. Since I'm here... You know, I could stand to pick up some- one of these. I wish I could take more than one, though. I mean, I could make multiple trips. You know, I mean, I could probably- like, as long as I have the spare shells, I could probably stand to leave the pistol behind, but I'm a little afraid to. If you reload the shotgun, will that free up a slot? I believe so, but I'm just worried about wasting the, the bullets. So I was gonna wait till it was empty. Okay, you know what? Yeah, this... It, you know what, actually? I know the path. So it's not like... It's not like I can't just, like, <laughs> put it in there while I get the, the things. Because, see, this is, this is one of them magic boxes, right? Where it teleports across dimensions. <laughs> I, I can only imagine Jill's running against the wall just like, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Early in development, the boxes didn't connect to each other. Yeah, that sounds like a pain in the ass. <laughs> Let me tell you. I can see why they changed that. Okay, now just grab the rest of these. But honestly, I might save the red one, because I know they said there was like another type of herb you could mix it with. And I might just save- like, I don't even know- 
I don't even know if I'm getting any benefit mixing it with the green because I know, like I said, Jill's health, Jill's max health is lower than Chris's. And it seems like the green one healed her completely, but I, I could be wrong about that. But either way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick them in the box. Or at least stick most of them in the box. You know, honestly, I wonder if I should use one now. I mean, I can get hit one more time, is the thing. So maybe, maybe not. So uh, I'll keep the red and green powder on me or whatever it is. Oh, nope, no, nope, I need back in there. But I'm gonna take the clip. Or, no, it's not the clip, it's the shells that I need for the shotgun. Is there anything else I wanna take here? What is the... What is this for? It's too dangerous to fire. Does it have another use? So that does lead me to believe it's a key item of sorts. And I mean, I know that the star thing goes in the garden area. But I mean, I don't think there's really any purpose to putting it in there until you have all of them. Uh, want a hint about the broken shotgun? Uh, I don't know, like, what kind of hint? Like... Like, if, okay, if it's a hint that's like... You can't do this with it, then sure. But if it's just, like, sort of telling me, like, what the puzzle is... Uh, probably not. At least not yet. I mean, there's a- there's a room down there I have not been in. I gotta say, it does- it does feel good... ...to have a lot of zombies in here taken care of. Yeah, so it's like down the hall. I think that's what- yeah, that's what leads into the main hall. So I think that's locked from the inside. I could be wrong. No, that's the- the plant room. At this point, it's only useful for Chris. For Jill, it doesn't do anything. Mm. Your- your language there is intriguing. Well, okay, I'll, I'll put it back then. I could, I could just tell you, but I'm trying not to backseat. Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, I don't know. Like, the whole thing is I'm, I'm doing it blind. I don't want to, like, I don't want too much given away unless I'm, like, really stuck. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm really wishy-washy. I'm sorry. Okay, but let's... Let's explore around. Oh, no! No! Okay, yep. Yep, that's not good. <laughs> so I guess I'll use this now. So this was the tiger room. 
Oh god, I don't have to use the herbs on this, do I? That that cannot be it, right? I'm scared that it is. A red eye. Were there blue herbs? Let me let me see. Uh. Uh. <laughs> there is a blue herb. But, I mean, it doesn't matter, because I don't have one. So even if that is the answer... Yeah, I can't get in there. What was this? The guy- the- what was through the guy guess door? Oh yeah, that was the music room. I feel like it's probably gonna be something upstairs. cool back here now I feel like that area is too significant to not be something oh that's right got to go through the loading screen Oh yeah, I, I went somewhere, yeah, I, I remember now, I went somewhere up here and then I backed out because the music made me pee myself. So yeah, let's, let's check that out. Shotgun loaded. Yeah, this. Yep, blood. Oh, yep, yep. No, sir, I don't like it. Uh oh, who is this? Oh yeah, the bazooka. Been waiting on that. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. And so too will I be if I don't get the heck out of here. <laughs> but, that's pretty cool, got the bazooka. Don't like the crow. The crows are scarier than the zombies, to be honest with you. Alfred Hitchcock knew what was up. Now let's see. Bear does Barry want to know about that? <laughs> I feel like it is in Barry's best interest that he know about that. But I like crows. I'm not talking about re real life crows. I'm talking about in Resident Evil video game for the PS1. Real life crows <laughs> have, have done nothing to me. Yo, Barry, did you see those crows? Shit was crazy. To tell you the truth, Jill, I've been in the shitter the whole game. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, another scary room. There we go. Yeah, narrow hallway, you definitely want to, like... <laughs> you definitely want to get them out of your way. Hey, oh, What's up, my man? Come here. Come here. Don't strafe. Okay. Now we can reload. You can't use this alone. I bloody well know that I can't use it alone, mate. You gotta put it in the gun. So wait, what was... What do these doors lead to? Because it says I've already been there. It kills me how the music just stops. Oh, crap. Get rid of that guy. There were so many times playing these games where I scared myself with my own footsteps. Yeah. Now keep in mind, the zombie one is squishier. Alright, what is this? All oh, right, this is the uh the library or whatever. I've been there. So I guess the place to check would be in here. Very green, very significant looking door. You know what? You think I should save? You think I should go back and save? I feel like I've done some stuff, or do you think I should hold out a little while longer? I shall say nothing. How often do you get the chance? I don't know. Not very. Not very. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm here. I'm going balls deep. Mm, but I don't know. This feels... This feels like a trap. This feels like a freaking trap. No, no. Do not push the switch. This is a puzzle, and if I push push the switch, they're gonna come to life and try to kill me, so... Heavy looking suits of armor. Oh god, is this a chess thing? This is like a chess thing, isn't it? You know, yeah, I'm gonna go back and save. I'm gonna go back and save. Because I'm gonna need to experiment with this puzzle. Did I go in here? No, I have not. Ooh, herbs. I'll be taking that. And I'll be taking that. Uh-oh. Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded! What kind of demon attacked you? 
it was a huge snake and also poisonous. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the game's playing itself. Oh yeah, that's the save room. You know, it's funny, because I was headed there anyway. So it, you know, it all works out in a way. Oh no, late 90s Capcom voice acting. <laughs> yep. You gotta love it. I forgot about this. Yeah, I am, I am getting huge, you are about to fight a boss vibes from this. So yeah, I think I will. I think I... <laughs> D don't mind if I do! I just hope it gives me some more, uh... Some more ink ribbons, I don't know what to say. Maybe save in a different slot so you have a backup. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been, like, uh, spreading my saves out. I wonder if this supports memory card, like, hot swapping, though. Because if it does, I could segment them even more. Let me, let me try, let me try. Actually, let me, let me open up the web UI here. Yeah, the, the web, the Memcard Pro web app. So, channel two, right? So let's see if that works. Yep. So, there we go. Save in that slot. So yeah, I, I should explain that if anybody's confused. I have what's called a Mem Card Pro. Essentially, it's a PlayStation 1 memory card. But it sort of works on FPGA technology. So basically, you can do all sorts of cool things with it. Such as, if you have an X-Station, which I do, it automatically loads the appropriate memory card for your game. Or virtual memory card, rather. So, I boot up Resident Evil, and it automatically goes to the Resident Evil memory card. Then, I can go to the web interface, or I can do it from the actual memory card. You can, you can do it either way. And you can have, like, a whole bunch of virtual memory cards. So, yeah, so... Instead of having to save over one of my old saves, I just created a new virtual memory card and saved into that instead. Is this a souped-up PS1, like a Super NT? I'm not sure, because, like... A Super NT, I think, is like... Is it, isn't that clone hardware? Whereas this is a original PS1, I've just done some heavy modifications to it. So, we got that, you know, which is like, you know, a virtu- like a memory card thing you insert into the slot, like... Not actually a modification. You can- you- you can use the, uh, 
Memcard Pro on a totally stock standard PS1. Like, you don't have to mod anything. And I do recommend getting one, because it, it saves you a lot of, like, memory. If you play PS1 games at all often, then it, it's worth the money. You can just stick a micro SD card in there and have all the memory cards you could ever want. Okay, and then I got an X station, which is an optical drive emulator. Let's me load ISO files off of an SD card. So this PS2's got two SD cards in it right now. And then I have an in-game reset board, which is how I was resetting the game before. It's all very... It's very swanky. It cost me a ton of money, but it was it was worth it. It was pretty cool. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Come on, Richard, don't be a dick. This man's body's gonna spring up, ain't it? At some point. <laughs> that, that's a rhetorical question, don't worry. Oh, crap. Yeah, please, please don't. If you take too long, he's dead by the time you get back. Interesting, that's a, that's a fascinating detail, honestly. If this is a save room, I'm going to poop. No? What's up here? It looks like a compartment. Gee, I wonder if there's something behind this. It could be possible. Will I take the clip? Sure. I have zero familiarity with Resident Evil. <laughs> Same here! This is my first time. Okay, what is this? What is in here? Too dark to see anything. Y'all didn't bring a flashlight? Okay. I guess... I guess once I have light in here... Some method of lighting this. I hadn't stopped you before, Jill. Candle. Light a candle. I mean, I don't, I don't want to try shooting it. <laughs> I doubt that would work out. So I'm going to assume. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank the good Lord. Did you dim the lighting in your face cam intentionally to set the mood? No, that's exactly what I did. Okay, bloody handprints leading up to the door. I'm sure it's fine. This key is useless now, discard. Uh, Darkwing, is it telling me the truth? Is the game lying to me? <laughs> that, that much I want to know. Yes, discard, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I wasn't getting jebated. Okay. So we're in the attic. Or what looks like an attic. Books and gadgetry. Nothing useful. Do you mean to tell me there is nothing in there that is useful? Oh, oh, snake. Snake.
Snake. Ah, oh, crap. Poison? Oh, no, not the poison. Okay, yeah, it only heal it only heals one. Yo, I probably want the acid rounds for this actually. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die to this snake. It's okay. Yep. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, that thing, that dang old ate me alive. Well, shoot. <laughs> how does this compare to the one on the game com? I think you know good and damn well how it compares. <laughs> The snake's name is Yawn. Kind of a boring name. Okay, so... Can you imagine playing this when it came out and thinking this is the same company that made Street Fighter and Mega Man? Yeah. But that's the that's the good thing. You know, you you never know what to expect. I kinda don't want to use this, but I feel like I should use this. I mean I guess I saved. Oh, I can't use it on the bazooka. I guess because I already have stuff in it. Oh, I didn't get the... I didn't get the, the stuff for him. I believe it's... yeah, 1996. I have a feeling this is going to be an exercise in trial and error, so please be patient with me. I kind of want to see, like... Well, maybe not. Because that might... I don't know, that might be a bad ending or something. I was gonna say, I kind of want to see the scene where you just don't help him. And I was like, you know, that uh, this game might have multiple endings. Oh boy, it does- it does take you a hot minute to get back there, though. I mean, I guess all the more- all the more encouragement not to die. Here's the serum. Can I skip? Richard, Can I skip? Hold on. Oh, I'll I can't skip. <laughs> I cannot skip. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Come on, Richard, don't uh, be a dick. Uh... Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jill, stay away from Repliforce. I mean, yeah, but did I get his radio? Did he get me? No, he didn't get me. But he's not dead. Oh no wait, there's a there's a puddle. So he is dead. This is what my friend Dorkwing told me. Is there is there anything in here I missed? I wonder. Oh yeah, there was there was the clip that was in here. Hmm. <sighs> dare dare I try? Okay, that's not it. <laughs> I just wanted- I wanted to rule it out. Yep, the key is now useless. Discard. Gonna equip the bazooka ahead of time. If only I could take if only I could take the... Like, take the stuff out of it. Yes, I know. Don't forget the ink ribbons. Yeah, I was just declining to pick the... Crap, crap. No. Eat crap. Eat dung. Eat. Ah. <laughs> Well, don't worry, the bullet I wasted on the candle is unwasted. Oh, no! <laughs> Not new game. I probably didn't need to actually hard reset. Resident Evil. Oh, yep. So see, here's what it looks like if I reset, right? So now I need to go to the web app and make sure it switches to channel two. 
So I should be able to do that. And there we go. It's very useful. All right, then. Can I take two serum? Can I take one for me? I assume I cannot take one for me. Nope. Can't do it. No, wait. No, put that back in. And then... This. I don't know why I did that. Combin. And now get the acid. Okay. So, third try, they always say... If you get poison, you can interact with the serum wall to cure it. That's the vibe I got. But it'd be nice if I could just take one with me. Oh well, game, I'll play it your way. No, no, it's, it's this way. If you don't save Richard, you can also use it yourself. I go figure. The burden of being a good Samaritan falls at my shoulders once again. I really should have shit should have shaved in the main hall. I thought I just heard a noise. Did you guys hear a noise that went like? It sounded like something. And then it turns out that's a zombie behind me in real life. Richard, hold on. Come on, Richard, don't I'll be a give you dick. A shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Can I give a small funny spoiler for the remake? Yeah, all right. You didn't have me until you said it was funny. But if it's a funny spoiler, how can I resist? Goodbye. Did I just use something that I shouldn't have? If you save Richard in the remake, he's totally fine, but then the snake eats him. Oh, uh, poor Richard. Okay, try number three. God. God. Okay, this is this is one area where the tank controls are definitely giving me the old spicy keychain. Get 
get out of my way. Oh god, I am I am so foobard. Uh, I I am in it up to here. Stop! Stop! Oh wait, there's some rounds in there. Oh god. Oh god. Stop! 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 Oh my god. This is the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. <laughs> this is... I want to say there's a way to do a quick 180 turn. Well, if it, there might be, but I haven't found it yet. <laughs> Run plus down, maybe? No, I'm pressing it. I can do this, though. No, not that I can see. Oh boy, this this, this part is hard. Okay, fourth time. We all know four is a very lucky number, especially in Japan. But yeah, it, it's hard to fight a boss with these controls, I won't lie to you. Like, it's one thing to take out, you know, like a zombie mook, but having to fight a boss with constantly, constantly changing camera angles, <laughs> not the easiest thing in the world. But dang it, sooner or later, this snake is going down. All right, that's that's safe. Here's the serum. Come on, Richard, Richard don't be a dick. Hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh... You know, the one good thing about this game being, like, all pre-rendered is that you don't see as much of the PS1 texture warping problem. 
Normally you'd be seeing a lot of that. <laughs> that guy is just completely inconsequential at this point. <laughs> Jill just walks in. <laughs> just she's like, yeah, yeah. Did I equip that? Yes, I did. And now I just unequipped it. This key is dead weight. Would you like to throw it in the bin? Okay, four. Jill is one of the better female game protagonists of this era. She cool. Yeah, I can appreciate Jill. She's like, you know, she's got autonomy. She's not over-sexualized. I, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. Much like I will be digging a grave for Richard. It's really hard to actually hit this thing without getting hit yourself. Like... Crap, I just fired that... ...off into the stratosphere. Maybe I shouldn't even bother. Oh uh, crap, 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 crap. I'm- I'm out. I'm out of juice. Crap, I am- Oh, okay, I killed it. Well, I didn't kill it, but it decided to leave me alone. Oh no, I, I I think I did kill it. Yes, I will take that. I'm probably going to die, though. I'm probably going to die of poison. Don't forget the ink ribbons. Well, do you think I should, like, heal my poison first? Your call- oh. Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. Is that a game over? Oh. Oh. Ah, yes, it is me, Albert Wesker. Probably. The, the game... The, the game made the choice for me. Zero. I just wanted to live in a world where only zombies exist. There's no world for only zombies. It's just a pipe dream. The fantasy. Or was it? Oh no, I think I know who it was. I think there's someone else. Someone we haven't seen the whole game. Maybe. Okay, now to go back and get the ink ribbons. Assuming nothing nefarious. Happens on the way there.
nothing evil and residential that is The thing is, though, that was kind of a progress dead end from the looks of things. So I'm probably going to have to do the night puzzle. Which is like, I don't want to save yet, but I'm so worried that's going to kill me. And if it kills me, I am going to have to fight the snake again. So it's it's a tough call. <laughs> mm, God, I don't know. I mean, what do you, what do you guys think? Should I do it? Should I save again? Or should I take the risk, do the puzzle? Puzzle, okay. But first, let me go drop off this clip because I know that once I solve the puzzle, I am, it's going to have something for me to pick up. And I'm not going to be able to do that because I got the freaking clip in my inventory. God, can you imagine what this would be like if I was playing as Chris right now? Like, what my inventory struggle- Well, granted, I would have fewer weapons, I, I think. So maybe it wouldn't matter that much. How many- how much ammo do I have? Okay, the bazookas. I ran out of ammo on the bazooka. That's dead weight at this point. So I'm just going to run back real quick or about, uh, as quickly as the game will allow. Oh, it's locked from inside. So wait, is it? Yeah, it's this door. Get that Metroid. Got that Metroid thing going on right now. I will say, for better or worse, one of the things I learned while researching this game to try and figure out what the heck I'm doing is that the sequels, while they still have the save restriction, it seems like they are way more generous with, uh, with the ink ribbons. Like, my understanding is that compared to this game, Resident Evil 2 and 3 give you ink ribbons like it's going out of style, so... Like I said, that is both good and bad, honestly. Because... You know, on one hand, like I said, I don't like restricted saving. That's not my favorite thing in the world. But, on the other hand... You know, what am I saying? Uh, on the other hand, you know... Like I said, this game, it does create a bit of tension having to ration out your saves. 
So, I don't know. I'm, I'm of two minds, you know? I'm of two minds of this game, basically. Oh, Resident Evil 1. How I love you, and yet, how I hate you! And yet, how I love you, and yet, how I hate you! That's about where I'm at. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, so... I want to take a minute to, like, suss all this out. So... We have two statues that I can push, right? These are like PS1 FUD flagged into the foreground. There's a grate on the ground. So that leads me to believe the room's gonna fill up with something. Right, so we have weapons, we have them with spears, axes, and lances from the looks of things. So if I had to guess, if I had to wager a guess as to what I do, either you have to match them with these, but that, no, that doesn't make sense because they both look the same. So my best guess is you have to put them over the holes, but like they need to be facing each other. And I think I have made it impossible to get this guy over there because I don't think Jill can pull. Let me see. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be. So let me go out and back in. Can blow the head clean off a zombie, can't pull a statue. Okay, so push him this way. Okay, now cover the hole. There we go, I think. Now you. Like I said, I hope it's not some kind of chess puzzle like in the Grinch. Or at least like I thought was in the Grinch. <laughs> I don't remember if it actually was. Okay, there. Now push the button. All right, it seems like I was on the money. Will you take the sun crest? Yes, I will. Unfortunately, this is also a progressional dead end. So my next guess, it doesn't matter what statue you put where, they just need to be covered. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, I got- I got there. I got there at the end of the day. So, my next guess was the second floor area back this way. Because there were a lot of zombies in there, I didn't spend a lot of time in that room. So, if I had to guess for another place to look. So, this is three of the emblems, or the crests, or whatever they were. And I need, I think, six in order to open that door. 
and I'm I'm gonna assume that's in game. Like getting all the crests and putting them in there. That's where that's in game. At right there. I want to get all six. But first, I'm a going back. So that I can put this in the chest. Now, I, I need some way of lighting up that one room so I can check in the the cupboard or whatever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rearrange this a bit. Cause I think what I would want to do I wanna have these all right here. So I can keep track easier of which ones I have. Or keep track of which ones I have easier. And yeah, the game refers to them as crests. Oh yeah, so I'm I'm pretty all right on green herbs at the moment. Not doing too bad on that front. They give you a lot of room in here. <laughs> like, look at this. Look at all of this. Are there even this many items in the game? Because that is a lot of slots. I mean, I'm not complaining. Lord knows, I'm not complaining. So I'm going to continue for a little bit longer. DLC items. I'm going to continue for a little bit longer. I mean, I might call it a little early, depending on how things go, because, you know, obviously I want to save right before I quit. But I also don't want to go too much longer without saving. So yeah, I went up here. And yeah, this guy. You want to turn around there, bud? Yeah, like that. Oh crap. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I didn't spend a ton of time up here. Because I was having zombie panic. And yeah, there's, there's two rooms over here I've not been in. Carving of a helmet. Still don't know what that's all about. Uh, yeah, and this one has a key. But I don't, it just says I don't know the pass number. It won't even let me try. Anything out the window? The howling of an animal can be heard on and off. And there were some up here. Like a stained glass window. Jill's got nothing to say about that. Okay, cool. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna take care of these guys. Wait, do I still have ammo? Yes, I do, okay. There we go. There's a statue there. There's two statues. No, no, wait, that's the same statue, just from a different angle, right? I can push this. Oh. And there's a hole there. 
There's a hole in the rail, I think. <laughs> Man, Jill's just kind of an asshole. <laughs> Breaking the priceless statue. I should probably load this back up now. Yeah, there we go. Just be nice and efficient about the whole thing. And so there's almost certainly going to be something that was inside that statue. And then it turns out there isn't, and I just broke it for no reason. Considering the shit she's had to deal with in this mansion, she probably doesn't care what the owner thinks. You know what? I can respect that. Oh. There's nothing inside. No, I meant this. The Chaos Emerald! The blue jewel. Okay, so I'm guessing that's one of the eyes for the wolf. Was there another statue anywhere? Hmm, where, where could I go? Now, granted, the map may not help me as much as I think, because that room, <laughs> like, that was a room I've already been to. So, I think all of these rooms here are rooms that were, like, locked because Crest and, you know, whatever, Sea Crest. Or the the armor and the thing and the whatever. Oh, I can I can go in here now. Oh, the music stopped. I don't like that. Oh, okay. An object of art. Will you take the clip? Sure, why not? I'd like to take a rest on the sofa. Don't you tell me that's nothing special, it's a sofa. Various things, thank you Jill, very descriptive. Uh oh. Is there a guy coming? I don't want to risk going over there and then like a camera angle change leads me right into him. Whatever. Oh, yep, there you are. Alright. Cool. Works for me. The desk is locked. Will you use the lock pick? Yes. What's in it? Uh, did you you bet your bippy I will. The more of those, the better. The less you know, Eugene, the better. Come here. Okay, it took me two shots to take out that guy. I don't like that. But it had to be done. Ooh, what's this? Is that an herb? Ah, oh, yes, the kernels, herbs, and spices. Nothing major. What about something minor? Ooh. <laughs> but I might have to get puzzle items. Oh, this is a mirror. This is a mirror right here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this room. You don't have the key for this room. Oh. Well, okay, never mind then. So I guess I will take the ink ribbon. That, <laughs> that sort of takes a weight off of my shoulders, let me tell you. And I'll have to come back for the herbs. Has anyone been able to mod the Bowser laugh in for the fake doors? <laughs> or for the locked doors? Uh, n I don't know, but I also haven't checked. I feel like if anything in here is suspicious, it's the art. But I mean, art tends to be, so... And also, maybe the light switch, because that's... It's kind of FUD-flagged a little bit. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. So I'm gonna go back, unload some of my stuff. I need to figure out where the red gym is. <laughs> but it's but it's good to have confirmation that, that no, you're not gonna have to use the herbs. Don't worry. What do you think we are, stupid? Well, no, I didn't say. <laughs> ah, yes, Dustin VG and his alter ego, Japanese Capcom employee. I don't remember where half the items are, even the red gym. That's fair. But yeah, we got... Can I combine the ink ribbons? That would, that would be helpful. Yes, you can. And I'll put the, uh, clip in here. But I need to take the uh, shells back out. I, w I want those. Is is this your first time having this many ribbons? Yeah. Is that bad? <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? Okay. So I'm gonna go in that room, go back in that room, get the herbs, just so I don't forget them. But then I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure where to go. Not judging, I've just forgotten how stingy Resident Evil 1 is with ribbons. Yeah, though admittedly, if I may confess, I maybe saved once or twice in the early game when I really maybe should not have. But yeah, this game does not give you a ton of saves. Not at all. So yeah, go back in over here. Don't have the key to this room yet. Oh, this room's got that dingy yellow lighting. It kind of looks like, you know, my capture card <laughs> doing the, that thing it does, but no. The room is actually just supposed to be this yellow. 
hang on, let me check out my own ass. Normally you don't get an opportunity to do that. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be impressed by a PS1 game having working mirrors, but I kinda am. No, I mean, that's impressive for a game of its era. I mean, maybe not impressive, but... You know, like, you had to... You had to, like, duplicate Jill on the other side of the mirror. So it's not- it's not something you could just do, like it wasn't free. Oh, I- I got the radio now. Okay, so... Like, okay, there are some rooms on the left and right side, like the- okay. Left side room, I can't go in there, it's locked from the inside. So I have to get there some- some other way. And the right side, I'm pretty sure all three of those all four of those rooms were like, you know, the crest, like the armor one that I couldn't go in. I mean, may maybe it's worth going back and checking. So let me, let me see. Yeah, okay, so right now, there's nowhere that overlaps the open from the inside room. I need a key. I need like a password to get in one of the rooms up there. And I think the other one was locked. Let me use the radio. The battery's still charged. Can I use it? I guess not. Okay, so... Now the thing is, this is the dog room. And I kinda hate the dogs. So is there any other lead? Like, any other possible lead? There's... Okay, so there is one door on the right there that I haven't gone in. Is there anything else up here that I haven't seen? I went in there. No, I don't want to use that. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this leads to the library. Yes. Anything I missed in here? Not seeing anything. And yes, this up here. Yeah, like at the end of the hall. Well, there's actually another door like in the middle that I missed or couldn't go in. But where, where's the middle? Where is this? Is this also the library? I don't know. I get so freaking lost. No, what is this? What door, what door is this? Yeah, that's the end of the... End of the hallway. So I guess this is the middle one here. Oh, okay, I can go in it now.
Yeah, there's a a deer bus. An aquarium. Researchers will. It's a letter. The top of the letter is missing. The remaining says, Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. What is this down here, though? There's something down here. Bugs. No, no, do not push that. I have no idea. Fred Figglehorn. Okay, there's definitely something behind here. Oh! <laughs> What's back there? Something at the back of the shelf. Yeah, no kidding, but how do I get it? Aw, oh, crap, I messed up. No, wait, 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 I, I might know what, what I gotta do. Oh, no, I can't push it. It's too heavy. So I, I can only assume that this is something maybe Chris would be able to do. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's- that's what I had- I had a feeling. So yeah, now the water has drained and I can move it. But I have to reset the room. Haha. <laughs> does it stay drained? Yes, it does. Okay. And so I think I need to move it this way. Yeah, there we go. A compartment. You can't carry more items. Yeah, okay. I need to... I probably... It is probably time for a save anyway. Because I... Reminder, I have not saved since the snake. You can combine the herbs to save space. You can combine the green with the green? Oh, well, I'll be. Well, I'll be. I thought you could only mix them with the red. The explosive rounds, okay. So, I'm going to have to remember next time that I did not check out this room over here. Like this one, I am not, like, I am not even touching that until I save. Considering how many ink ribbons I now have, I do not feel bad about saving this time. But nonetheless, 
after this save, I probably, I think it would be wise to end. And uh, I get the feeling that next time we should be able to finish this off, or at least Jill's story. I'm debating if I want to do Chris's after I finish. Because, like, I don't know. There, there might be a chance that the answer will be yes, but not right away. Like, maybe not as a Halloween thing. There's a lot more to go. Uh... I don't know, it just felt in-gamey to me. But I'll take your word on that. I mean, you you know more about it than I do. But either way, what I, what I said stands, I feel like. I'm not... I'm not sure what I want to do about Chris. And that, that may be something I save for a later date. Though on the flip side... It probably would be handy to do it while it's still fresh in my memory, so I'm a little torn. But I don't know, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Alright. So let's... let's put some stuff up. So I got some green herbs. Again, we can, uh, combine the ink ribbons together to save space. Now, now that I have explosive rounds, it may be a good idea to carry the bazooka with me again, but I don't know. Yeah, there we go, baby. That, that's a good number to see. Still got the shotgun shells. Yo, know, I'll, I'll decide that next time. And I'll put... Explosive rounds in there for now. So let me write a type. Yep. Oh, and another cool thing, which I may do right now since the PS1 is still on. <sighs> and you kind of need it to be, because otherwise the Memcard Pro doesn't get any power. Is that you can, you can browse the card. And you can even do like a FTP server to back up your save files if that's something you want to do. And that is something I want to do. Though, I could probably stop the stream and then do it. I don't know. Either way. Thanks for showing up, guys. I appreciate it, as always. And that was that was a lot of fun. I'm glad to have done that with you guys. See you around. Take care. Why did that peak the mic? Why did that peak the mic? <laughs>